President Trump recently called for nationwide paid family leave in his State of the Union address. Today, his daughter met with Republican senators to push a proposal for that. It's a start, but is a few weeks off from work really better than an economy in which it only takes one working parent to support a family? What would a country that took pro-family policies seriously look like? Well, it might look like Hungary, like a lot of post-communist places. Hungary has a low birth rate. Rather than trying to fix that with immigration and putting new people, the prime minister is making a serious attempt to help middle-class families have kids and raise them themselves. We spoke to Hungary's foreign minister, Peter Siarto, about that. Here's what he said. His first priority as leader of the country is increasing birth rates and marriage rates. I, I can't think of anyone else who says that. Why does he Absolutely. say that? Absolutely. You know, um, we understand very well that uh, if uh, we are not able uh, to turn around the negative trend of demographics, which is unfortunately a phenomenon, all over Europe, then we will definitely non, not win the future. And we want to win the future. So we need more kids. Uh, we need to turn around the negative tendencies. So we have put together an action plan. Uh, we uh, have formulated our economic policy in this direction. So the question in families, uh, whether to uh, uh, be brave enough to have an other kid, must not be an economic decision anymore. This is where our policies uh, put the focus on. The truly conservative position. So our plan here in the West is to just let the depressed people die off and replace them with people from other countries. What do you think of that plan? You know, this debate has been um, uh, there in Europe for a very long time, whether uh, migration is the right answer uh, for the challenges uh, on the labor market and on demographics. And our position is totally different. Uh, we think it must be up to decisions of certain nations and countries whether they want migrants on the territory of their country or not and it must be the countries themselves to make decisions with whom they would like to live together our answer is that migration is not the right uh, answer when it comes to challenges on the field of demographics or in the field of uh, of labor market it's um, family policy modernization of the education having more kids, helping the families uh, to be um, uh, able to have uh, higher living uh, uh, standards and, and create a situation where families, uh, parents can be brave enough to have more kids. Could you end with telling us you think the most important thing that Hungary has done to encourage people to get married and have children? Well, actually, uh, we have formulated our economic policy in a way that uh, supports uh, uh, families. Uh, we uh, introduced a flat tax system, and if you have kids, then you have deduction uh, from your tax. You get exemption from uh, paying tax based on the number of kids uh, being raised in a family. So if you are around, um, uh, around um, uh, average salary and if you have three kids or more, you basically do not pay uh, personal income tax, which uh, leaves uh, in a lot, uh, uh, let's say a significant amount of yes. money in, in your pocket at the family in order to be able to, uh, to raise your kids. And we have introduced uh, obligations obligatory kindergarten, which is free of charge. And in elementary school, most of the kids get a free meal and free books. And this is what uh, we do on the high, um, the high school level as well. So in order to allow families to be brave enough to have more kids, we uh, have put together this uh, family policy and this economic policy. I, I've rarely thought we could learn something important from another country, but I, I think in this case we really can. And I appreciate your explaining it to us. Thank well, you. Thank you very much for the invitation. It was great being here. Thanks. Imagine living in a country like that that actually tried to make it possible to have stable families. Since we recorded that interview, Hungary has gone even further. On Sunday, the Prime Minister of Hungary announced plans to exempt women with four or more children from income tax for the rest of their lives. And that's a crazy idea because why? No, it's not a crazy idea. It's a great idea.